So let's jump into our renderer process. So in our index.html that the renderer loads, we have a, a button here for opening a new window. And they're also requiring renderer.js. And here we just have a click handler on the new window button. Okay, so in our render.js, let's start by requiring IPC renderer from Electron. And in our click handler here, we're going to call IPC renderer send create window. So this is going to send a message to our main process. But our main process needs to be listening for that message. So in our main.js, let's jump in here and we'll require IPC main from Electron. And down here in our app on ready handler, we're going to call IPC main on create dash window. And we're just going to call this create browser window, a function that we already have set up. Let's glance at the create browser window function. It, uh, it creates a window. We're creating multiple windows. So we have a windows array. So we push the window to that array. Uh, we load index.html. So on the on close event, um, because we don't want to leak that browser window, we splice it out of the windows array. Also, we register the create window event handler in the app on ready handler because you cannot create browser windows until the ready handler has been called. Okay, so let's run our start script to try this out. Okay, here's our window. So let's open a new one. We can see it worked. It came in right on top of our old one um, by default. So it's awesome. We can see that's working. And that's pretty, pretty easy to communicate between two processes there. So we can also pass information via IPC. So let's jump back into our renderer process. And in our create window message that we send, let's add, um, let's add some browser window options here. So we're going to say, these are going to be the coordinates, the X and Y coordinates on the screen that we're going to open the new window at. So X, X zero, Y zero, that's going to be this top left corner. And then back here, we're going to modify this zero function. The first parameter that the callback is going to receive is um, the event. And then it's going to receive a props parameter. This is the information that we pass. This is, this is the props. So we're going to take the props and we're going to pass it to our create browser window function. And we can see in create browser window here, we're already expecting browser window options to be passed optionally. So let's try this out. Okay, there we go. IPC is bidirectional, so our main process can also inform our renderer process when an event has happened. So let's see what it would take to keep account of all windows in each of our renderer processes. So in our main process, let's add a send window count function. Um, so in here, we're going to iterate over our windows array. So each window has a web contents property. It's just the web contents instance that that browser window has. And that's where we're going to send our IPC message. So we call send. And let's call this window dash count. And we're going to send an object with a count property. And we'll send the, the windows length to it. So to keep the count in our windows accurate, we also need to send this message when a window is closed. So let's add that in our close event handler. Right here, send window count. And then in our on ready handler, we need to know when to send this message to each of our renderer processes. So we'll create an, another message here called get window count. And when that is called, we will send the window count like that. For our renderer process, let's add some HTML really fast. So get our count element here. We're going to want to set up a, a listener on the window dash count event. This uh, function has the same function signature as the IPC main one. So we have uh, our events and the props that we get from the main, from the message. So in here we're going to update our DOM element. So say text content equals props.count. Then we also need to get this information initially when, when this renderer process first loads. So we're going to call IPC render send get dash window count. So this will send the message to the main that'll then send back a window count message that we'll receive right here and then update the DOM. Okay, let's try this out. Okay, we see our number of windows here is one, is one, which is correct. So let's open a new one, and we have two. Awesome, so this is working. Let's try a third one. 